let's add into the sequence that change of direction that we were using. And we call that the forward ocho cortado. It's this one that we practice with this orientation and I make the follower go to my right and then back to my left. We will put this after the forward backward. Again, to the side, into a backward ocho. Now I exit parallel system. Now this is the, when I do the forward backward, the follower is always, always here. Now look, I will step back in front of my partner with my left and bring her to my right and back to my left. And then here I will close. And then we can do that little back up. I am doing three here. In the line of dance, let's say this is the line of dance, there are the tables. If you are dancing and you want to do that, you do that, not too much displacement. If you know you have enough space in the direction of the line of dance, you can do a couple of them. But most of the time, there are the tables, short, two, that's it. Enough. Just a clarification. Here we are taking advantage of that element to recover the space. And it's a good practice to do it with long step. That will be the case that you have a, a lot of space on the dance floor. That could be at the end of the night, you end dancing la comparsita, or you are doing a performance. So you have all the space for you. So it's good to to train. Remember that performers are the ones that train harder, so the technique should be good. Again, leader, side, change system, backward ocho. Now we exit in parallel system. Remember to keep your partner always here. Now I get back in front of her, but only to take her to my right side, to my left, and then we close. Back up, and here we recover the space. We should have enough space for the sequence again. Back one, ocho, exit, back and forth, and now back in front of your partner. Left, right, left, right, left, right. My partner is here in front of me. I make her a step back, side, and ready to go. And again, to the side, backward ocho, parallel system, back and forth. And now, with my left, I get back in front of my partner, only to take her, allow me, back to the lane of dance, side, and we recover the space. Now, the follower. Side, backward ocho, backward ocho, back and forward. And now my partner makes me go around him, back to the line of dance, and closing, and again, left together, left together. Here, watch, in this point, give it the, Continuity. You have to arrive and be ready to link this with the starting point. Backward ocho. Back and forth. My partner brings me in front of him to open me around. Back to the line of dance. And closing here to go left, forward. Left forward, and remember here, link this. Feel the axis at that point, and then the change of the flow to the side. Backward ocho, back and forth, back and around my partner, back to the line of dance, 
and closing. One more time. Left, left. Here is the knee. And Babalocho. Always pass through your axis. And then back and around my partner. Back in front. And closing. Here we are doing the closing to the side for a better use of the space in this TV format. But in the milongas, we normally adapt that to a string. So that closing will be, not to the side, will be one more step backwards. But, but just think about that even if you take a larger side step, for example, bring your whole body with you. So you don't have to bring one part and then the other. Just move all of it. Uh, the same thing when you move backwards for the followers. Side step and ocho. Keep this together so you don't fall in the ocho. 